it's weird when I do these, uh, you know, adventure shootery type of games. Obviously, after a certain amount of time, it's you start to to tire out, particularly because you're doing the live commentary thing. But when you're playing a, like an RPG, it's much more kind of relaxed, and especially when it's an RPG that you know so well. So it's been over two hours so far, I think, huh. but I'm feeling fine. So, uh, they got fiends in Zenacan too. Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkin anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another. Refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska, either. It's pointless to think about it, and sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Yep, obviously Lulu has some very deep feelings about what happened to Chapu. Okay, temple number two already, making, I think, pretty decent progress. Yeah, okay, I don't think that that, that works too well, to be honest. I think Sin just, just goes wherever it pleases and just fucks everyone up. But you're more than welcome to try. Alright, let's meet the douchebags. You here to pray for victory too? Us? Pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time, we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down? They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left. Just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... Nah. nah. Those three are secretly banging each other. I have no doubt about it. Annoying Luca goers. Hopefully, in the, in the Blitzball tournament, I'll be able to teach them a lesson. In humility. Again, pointless room. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously don't want to throw my personal opinions around too much here, but I think kids should just be kids, to be honest. She looks really young, but obviously. Some people have other ideas. What's the point of these rooms if there's no chests in them? 
Does he have anything interesting to say? Yep, okay. So, Temple of Fire, those of you guys that know your Final Fantasy will probably know what kind of Aeons, Aeon, we're going to be getting here. Yeah, true that. Alright, let's head in. And try and complete another Cloister of Trials. And I think I'll stop for today, because it's been a pretty long session. Okay, so hold on. I said five, but I think there's only four that have actually... Yeah, it seems like there's only four High Summoners. Actually, no, well, technically there's five. Yeah, I'm not going to go too much into it, but there is five. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. Okay, let's do the same thing that we did in Besaid. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartello, we're leaving. A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? Come on, dude, read the signs. But yeah, speaking of people that are banging, there's uh, Bartello and Donna. So we're going to be seeing a lot more of them. But I'm wondering what, what this guy is doing here. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's praying. Okay, right. I would have liked to have seen uh, Lulu let loose on, on Donna. I'm sure she had some good things to say. Make a pretty mean cat fight, those two. Okay, I think we're ready to head in. Well, I'm not a guardian, but I need to progress the, to the next scene. Faith is below. Let's do it! The Faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Da! Ah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. <laughs> oh, man. Don't get to join them in the Cloister of Trials. Oh, well. I'll just try and uh, make my way out and just uh, find a pub. And just Oh. So the way they've uh, choreographed the scene is a little bit stupid. W watch what happens. In order to trigger the next scene, 
even though he's been told that he can't go in, you have to go onto the elevator to, to trigger the next scene. So he goes on and he's going to jump back off afterwards. <laughs> Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. So, yeah, I mean, Donna is a summoner, and she's supposed to, well, if she eventually defeats Sin, she's going to become like a, you know, a religious idol for these people. So, it's interesting the, the kind of respect with which they're treating this kind of, you know, very religious and, you know, sacred art of being a summoner. So, I don't know, she's, a, she's an odd one, that's for sure. To be honest, I think the first time I tried, to, I said wait here the first time I ever came. And I, I have no idea if you eventually, if after a certain amount of time or if you do something, whether you actually trigger it. Come on, go up! Go up! No. So I don't think there's anything that you can do. You have to say go inside. But if anyone knows if, if by waiting you eventually trigger something, feel free to let me know. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Yeah, there's nothing like a bit of fun and games in the temple. Yes, so we've been told that this is the, the Temple of Fire. So it all makes sense. I'm going to burn my hands. Okay, obviously the spheres themselves aren't hot. So once again, there's an easy way through, and then there's the destruction sphere as well. Okay, I always forget the order with which I need to do this, but... Hold on, actually, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I always do this the wrong way around. Let me stick this one there first. I think a glyph is supposed to appear. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I always try to put the Glyph Sphere in first. Now, logic would dictate that you pick up the Glyph Sphere and put it where the Glyph is, but that's not what happens. But it's very easy to be tricked by that. Okay. Need to put the glyph sphere here actually. So, and already the the door on the other side of those flames that's that's the exit. So, not long at all. our destruction sphere and what exactly did we have to do here I think we have to push it into the glowing bit Let's see if I can do this right I have fucked this up on more than one occasion Because for the for the undub movie, I didn't bother with any of the destruction spheres. I haven't done this for a while. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. And we can use this to open the final door, and 
and then put the destruction sphere in there instead. It should be the right thing to do. Okay. Let's finish this one off. I said, seriously, if you're planning on doing side questing and that kind of stuff, it is worth the extra five minutes it's going to take to, to get the destruction sphere. You'll thank me later. And this is a nice armor. Just, just putting that one out there. So this reduces fire, ice, and lightning damage by 50%. And already, because I've managed to increase his HP twice, he's, he's looking good. Got double times his HP. Right, we're done here. Let's, let's roll. I don't think they're going to be too happy to see me. Sup, guys? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Oh, come on, guys. I think, I think you're overreacting a little bit here. Just wait. So what's in there, anyway? The Faith, remember? Oh, yeah. That thing, right. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. You can't deny that she has some serious knowledge. So again, Kimari, like in these situations, we're going to try and talk to him. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Dude, I was just trying to talk to him. Come on. He seriously wouldn't have tried to have got in there, surely. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo! Oh. Okay, I think there's maybe one more. Just wait. Okay, I think we're done here. There's nothing else. Yeah. She's saying, just go away. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. So again, something that Tidus experienced in Xanarkand a thousand years ago is part of the religious structure of of Yevon and Spira. So, interesting. Alright, say hello to the fire dog, Ifrit. One of my... another Aeon that I like, actually. To me, a, I pretty much like them all, but yeah, I do like this guy. Okay, we're done here. That's, uh, that's two out of five.
I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. <laughs> okay, you went a bit crazy there. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> okay. Right. Another thing that uh, interests me there is the fact that I always thought Yevon was the name of the religion. You know, well, coming into this, that's what you'd assume. But Yevon sounds like a particular person. Because it says Yevon took their... Basically, saying that Yevon took their souls. So it sounds like a person or a being that took their souls. So I find that interesting. Take that. Yeah, because of the ice strike, he's doing 50% uh, more damage. I'm on a that's, roll. That's, why, that's why he's getting an overkill there. Okay, so all we have to do is jump on a boat one more time, and it's on to Luca, where some serious shit is going to happen. And to be honest, it's only really after Luca that the story really starts to get going. Or maybe a little bit after that, but still. So yeah, as you can see, even though I'm, I'm doing minimal kind of uh, encounters, I'm still getting on just fine. Not in too much danger. Okay. I think I'm going to end the session here. It's been, I think, well over two hours now that I've been recording. And hopefully I'll be back with more very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again soon.